was ten as father split full of it debt written two years later see Alex and his mother bit. Hi, I'm Maddie Orton for JerseyArts.com, and today I'm talking with Philippa Sue, the original Eliza from Broadway's smash hit Hamilton, and lots of other really amazing work. Her upcoming virtual concert through Rowan University on April 16th will benefit the New Jersey Arts and Culture Recovery Fund, which works to help stabilize the sector, offset costs for COVID safety protocols, and save jobs. Philippa Sue, thank you so much for your time. This is so exciting. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I'm a huge fan and I'm very much looking forward to your concert coming up. You have been riding this out like everyone else. What has the experience been like for Broadway performers? Well, it's been devastating. I, I mean, I don't think that Broadway has shut down in a capacity like this since 9-11. And that was only for, I mean, I want to say like a couple days tops. And I think that we've all done a great job as a community of coming together and doing these virtual readings and raising money for Broadway Cares and, you know, like this virtual concert raising money for the New Jersey Arts Fund. And I, I just feel like um, it's a testament to really how strong this community is and how much we love the theater and how much we, I, I think, find it to be so important, not only just for entertainment's sake, but for our souls to process the world around us. And so getting relief to the artists, to the places, the theaters that create all of this work is super important because now more than ever, we need to start processing what is happening in the world around us. And a great place to start is your local theater, um, Broadway, off Broadway, you know, any theater that you can access. Absolutely. I can't wait till it comes back. This has been so, so challenging. <laughs> it has been. But while theaters have been closed, you've actually released two movie musicals, the animated film Over the Moon on Netflix and, of course, Hamilton on Disney+. Plus. Hamilton as was a tough ticket to get. How did it feel knowing that fans all over were tuning in to finally watch it for the first time? It felt amazing and so right, considering the moment that it came out in. You know, that was the summer, the height of the pandemic, I think the height of uh, racial justice movement, the height of people getting involved in the election and democracy and asking themselves really hard questions about what it means to be an American. And um, I just felt so grateful that we could be a part of that moment and just to celebrate diverse voices, diverse faces, and to be able to come together as a cast and advocate for the Black community, the Brown community, to be able to feel like we could be a part of that in a way that felt um, beyond, you know, the thing that we made. Over the Moon is based on Chinese mythology, and you've been a very vocal supporter of uh, diverse cultural representation in media. Why is that so important, and especially to the Asian community right now? Specifically to the Asian community, I think it's really important that we can share our stories um, not only for ourselves, but for people who may not be familiar with um, what it is like culturally to be a part of an Asian family, an Asian American family, um, to try and put yourself in the shoes of someone other than a person that you know very well, to try and reach a handout and go into unfamiliar territory with an open heart uh, is a really hard skill to hone in on. And I think the more that we can practice empathy, the more that we can immerse ourselves in different kinds of stories, the better we're going to get at it. And the more that we can have diverse voices, diverse stories being told, um, the better that we're all going to be for it. And so tell me a little bit about the virtual concert you have coming up. Well, it'll be the first time that I'm really doing this kind of virtual concert. I'm working with my dear friend and collaborator, Or Matias, who is also my music director. And we really just wanted to like play some songs that we really love and that we've some that we've done before and also just some new things that that, you know, I've never sung before. You know, I think my goal ultimately is for people to feel like there is this collective experience, even though we can't all be in the same room, that we can still collectively gather virtually and, um, you know, go along for a ride. So I hope that people really enjoy it. 
Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank and you. thank you also for putting in time to help raise funds for the uh, New Jersey Arts and Culture Recovery Fund. That's really awesome. No, I'm so thrilled. I'm so glad. Mark your calendars April 16th online through Rowan University with an additional Q&A event for VIP ticket holders. For more information on the concert, the New Jersey Arts and Culture Recovery Fund, and all things arts in New Jersey, visit jerseyarts.com. I'm Maddie Orton. Thanks for watching.